Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. So before getting into today's topic, I want to say thank you to every single person who contributed to my birthday celebration. Um, Thank you for making me a priority in your life. Um, And it's really, really good to feel uh, loved and appreciated. So I I just want to say thank you to everyone who did play a part in making sure that my birthday was as exciting as it was. And with that being said, (laughs) I'm getting back to reality. So today we're talking about, I don't feel like it. And with that being said, I'm sure there are plenty of things that you need to be doing, um, but you also don't feel like doing. So we're going to talk about that today. The first step that I would say in challenging this thought process of what you don't feel like is recognizing that uh, you have to prioritize what your responsibilities are. Um, so yes, everything is important, but what comes first? What comes second? Uh, what's non-negotiable in your life? What's absolutely necessary? And also recognizing that those priorities can change at any given point. Um, You have the right to say, this week my priority is this. Uh, This month I'll be focusing on that. Um, This quarter, this is my priority. Um, And just kind of adjust. And just because you put something at maybe a lower level uh, doesn't mean that that's a permanent position. But it does mean that right now, that's not what we're focusing on. Uh, Right now, the priority is X, Y, and Z and making sure that your behaviors match what you say are your priorities. Next, you want to make sure that you're making SMART goals. We've heard it before, but a lot of times we make very vague or unachievable or goals that have no type of a deadline. Um, and really, the the biggest benefit to using the, the phrase SMART goals is because it forces you to think about, like, is it specific? Is it measurable? Is it something that I can measure results over time? Is it achievable? Do I have a timeline set? And is it realistic, really and truly? And so making sure that when you're setting these goals, that they are all of those things, smart, uh, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, timely, making sure that it checks off all of those lists. And then when you have that goal, you want to create actionable steps to get there with realistic deadlines for each step. And then once you have a, that's your game plan, really and truly. And once you have your game plan lined up, accountability is everything. Like who's checking in on the progress of your goals? Like who's asking the difficult questions of you? Who has the ability to really dig deep on what you're going through or what you're working on to really evaluate whether you're being productive? Uh, really and truly. And that's something that I've had to reevaluate over the last you know, month or two. Like, am I busy or am I being productive? Like, are the things that I'm dedicating my time, money, and energy to, are they producing results? Yes, excellent. No, I really need to evaluate whether or not the time, money, and energy is worth it. Because again, I have prioritized my goals. So with that being said, it when you really start to ask those tough questions of yourself, you do start to get to a point where you might need to evaluate some things. Um, but at the end of the day, your goals do not care how you feel. They just don't. And so when you hold yourself to that level of accountability, you understand, like, listen, I don't have time to waste. I don't have money to waste. I don't have energy to waste. So what am I going to do that can productively use that energy? Because the times that you keep saying, I don't feel like it, like it still has to get done or it still weighs heavy on your mind. So if you just knocked it out and did it anyway, you'd be done thinking about it. Instead, you drag it out over time and days and weeks and months go by and I don't feel like it has turned into something usually turns into like, oh, I can't do that. When really and truly you could have if you just did it. So with that being said, 
I want to hear from you guys, but I want to hear what is something that you don't feel like doing, but you're going to do it anyway this week, specific to this week. All right. Comment below. I want to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much, guys.